All right, so like I said earlier, I'm going to create the package outline. Finally, I can get started with that. So the X dimension, the width is A. Go to PCB editor and choose add line. Now, we are in add line mode right now, and you want the line to be of a certain active class and subclass. Choose package geometry assembly bottom and then choose the line lock to be 90. Now, where am I doing all this is in the options tab. If you don't have the options tab available, it should be maybe hidden on the right side here, and then you just click on it and it shows up. I have it pinned in my uh, setup, so you just want to make sure the options tab is available on the right here. Okay, so line lock is set to 90 degrees, and the line width, I'm going to change that to 0 0.12 millimeters. By default, it's set to 0.0. .0 it's just zero millimeters, so it's zero line width. But those can be pretty annoying once you get to creating uh, photo plots for and Gerber files for your devices. So I just changed it to line width 0.12, and then now I'm ready to place a line. Now I can click and then place a line, you know, just arbitrarily. It'll continue doing that, but I prefer a different way to uh, select locations uh, to place the line. So I, I'm just going to click, oops. And keep doing that. Right click and choose oops in the work area. Whenever you make a mistake, you can just right click and choose oops, and it'll correct the mistake. All right, so what method do I use? I like to just type in the coordinates for when I'm selecting uh, where to place the lines. So if you look in the command window here, the whatever you type will show up. I'm going to type in x coordinate space y coordinate space and then zero space zero what that means is the first zero is for the x coordinate and the second zero is for the y coordinate and once i hit enter it gets selected notice how it clicks and chose exactly on the zero zero this is very useful when you want to make extremely precise selections all right so you can also do just the x coordinate or just the y coordinate so i'm going to go with x space and remember, in the data sheet, the width is 5.01. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to select 5.01 in the X coordinate. So hit Enter, and we've selected 5.01. Let's go down in the Y coordinate. So Y negative. Let's see here. B is 6.65 in height. So we have to go negative 6.65. Oh, negative 6.56 all right enter okay I'm gonna zoom out and then I'm gonna choose the X coordinate it's back at zero again so let's go to zero uh, X uh, zero and then lastly Y zero all right that's the last a position chosen so right click the work area and choose done your shape is made and now you're ready to copy the shape why would we copy it well I'm actually going to copy it to put it on the packet to create a package geometry assembly top layer uh, for outline so how do you copy go to edit and then choose copy click on the uh, outline here that we just made and then you can drag it around and then place it wherever you wish I'm just going to click once and then place it there and then right click and then choose done. Now both of these are the package geometry assembly bottom. I want to change this new copy to assembly top. Now you may get this problem where you can't click anything. That's fine. Just go to the general edit option and click general edit and then it allows you to choose that. There are other ways to get out of that error issue as well, but this is the easiest way. So click and highlight the entire uh, line setup here, and then just right click, change to layer, assembly top. Same active class or uh, subclass, just um, the subclass that we changed to is the assembly top and not the bottom. Now that that's done, you see the color has changed to assembly top color and I'm just going to click on the move here uh, in the top of the menu bar if you don't have the move 
shortcut you can just go to edit and then move now notice only the lines the individual lines are highlighted when I hover over them so what that means is I have to click drag over the entire outline for assembly top right and then, then once it's highlighted left click once and don't drag just you know just do one click and then move it place it around the origin so that the origin is as close to the center as possible I could use calculations and precise clicks and all that but I I don't want to do that because I can think I can pretty much eyeball it all right and then just once you place that that's fine you're still in move mode so uh, what you do is just click once on the initial shape that we made for the package geometry assembly bottom and then place it directly under or over if you think of it that way right where you place the package geometry assembly top outline you click once to place it and then right click and then choose done excellent that's placed now we won't be able to save this as is if you try to save it like I did just now it, the software will complain it says that it's symbol is missing a reference designator so it will not save it so let's create a reference designator to do that you need to add some text click on the add text option or if you want you can just click add in the menu and then choose text so where do we want to place this okay the text needs to be in the active class of reference designator so in the options click on active class and subclass drop down menu click on reference designator click on then the let's see where's the option ah assembly top and then now you're ready to place oh before we place it I want to use the size 2 text block not size 1 because size 1 is a little small so let's go with 2 click tab and now we're ready to place the text just perform one click on the center of the package and let's type in something like ref why am I choosing ref that's because uh, you well you'll see at the end of the video why I chose ref alright so once that's typed in just right click and then choose done And I'm gonna add some more text I'm gonna use the shortcut this time add text and this time I'll go with reference designator but a different subclass silkscreen top text block uh, it remember that I like the two the two size text block so now we're ready to place the text just gonna place it right here and type ref again here and that's good choose done and we're good to go now the colors are the same for the reference designator I don't like that I like my silk screen to be a different color uh, I would choose white so how do I do that okay in order to do that let's see now I can almost never remember where to put the uh, choose the color option here so I'm just gonna see where I can find it okay all right let's see okay that took me a while huh, to find the color option all right so it's actually just right in display color color and visibility all right so just click display color visibility and I'm going to make the silk screen uh, for all of the layers that I'm interested to be white all right so let's go click on uh, geometry package geometry and the silk screen top I'm going to make white in order to do that scroll down and where we see silk screen top here it's set to green I'm going to choose the white in the color palette and then click here in the silk screen top box to make it white I click apply and that's white now next I'm going to go to components and then choose reference designator this is what we're actually seeing here the silk screen top here is blue so I'm going to, I already have white selected in the lower left from earlier so choose the blue box and silk screen top and click on it to turn it white as well all the other colors I'm going to keep the same oh uh, and I will change something else but down the road so click apply and then click OK notice that the text is white what's the last thing we need to do here before we create the pad stacks well I'm going to go to setup tab in PCB editor and then choose design parameters in the design parameters I'm gonna choose the text tab and then click setup text sizes why am I doing this because 
the photo width of the text is actually set to zero. This can create problems when you're trying to, uh, or war just warnings when you're trying to create artwork files for your part. So you want to make sure that you have something at least like a 0 0.1 millimeter line width. And I'd like to do that for all the text that I think I'm going to use. So I'm actually going to highlight this and then control copy, or control C for copy and then control V to paste in these different fields. Okay, so that's enough of that. I'll click OK button and then click the Apply button and then click OK. Notice that the text has gotten wider in width and when we try to save now, it will talk about, it will set up a warning that says uh, the file exists and do you want to overwrite it? I'll click yes. And now it's saved. And notice in the lower left that the PSM file of this uh, footprint package or the symbol was created. That's when you know that it's saved correctly. 